Hi everybody. Hello everyone. <laughs> everyone today. Good to see you and you and you and you with that funny face. Is somebody making a funny face at me? I think somebody is. Somebody smiling really big. Somebody going like this. Is somebody frowning today? Well you all have beautiful faces really but sometimes it's fun to make funny faces isn't it? Can you give us one of your funniest faces, Chris Crazy Keys? Ooh, he's silly. Silly, <laughs> silly, silly. I'll make my funny one. Chris doesn't like me doing that funny face. <laughs> it makes him annoyed because it doesn't look that great. Anyway, I was going to tell you what's going on today. We've got a few things going on today. We're going to sing a couple of new songs. We're going to do... A little adventure in the kitchen again mm -hmm. so make something cool in the kitchen and we're gonna do a story so lots of things happening today did I forget anything we're gonna do some shout outs later yes we always love people sending in their pictures and their jokes and their all kinds of stuff I want to have more things I want to have stories and jokes and ideas so send me some of those things but let's get started move it Make it, move it, music. Why do I always forget? Okay, I've got actions to help me remember. Okay, Chris? Okay. Make it. Make it. Move it. Move it. And music. Music. Oh, you're doing guitar. You're doing guitar. Okay, let's do that. Make it. Move it. Music. <laughs> One more time. Let's make it. Move it. Music. Let's make a song about that next time. Next time we'll have a song for you, right? Uh, make it, move it, music. So those are all things we need to do most of the time, but especially right now when we have lockdown and we want to have things that keep us from going crazy. Going crazy. Going crazy. Who wants to go crazy? We want to move it. No. My goodness. <laughs> make, make it. it. Move it. Music. Okay, so with that in mind, I have a new song. And what's the song called? Time, time, time. Time, time, time. You go, this is a, time, time, time. This is a move it song, isn't it? It's a move it song because I wanted to have a new song. So we just got this song together for you. So there's going to be some actions. So follow me and we'll try to get them going together. I think it's time, time, time to get myself a movie. Okay. Have a kangaroo party just for me. I 
and have a kangaroo party just for me and you and you and everybody else too. Doesn't that sound like fun to have a kangaroo party? Kangaroo party. A kangaroo really party. Fun. That would be hard to make an outfit to be a kangaroo though. But you could put a hoodie on because kangaroos they have. Oh a... yeah, they've got a pouch. The pouch at the front, right, for the mummies. Do you know what a baby kangaroo is called? Is it a Jenny? Nope. A Jackie? Nope. Uh, Jimmy? Nope. Close though. Maybe some of them are called Jimmy. They could be called Jimmy. Should I tell you? You know it, don't you? I do know it. It's a Joey, isn't Joey. it? Joey. Joey. A kangaroo baby is called a Joey. So if you have a kangaroo baby, you could put it in your hoodie pouch. The hoodies usually yeah. have a thing on the side. You could put a little kangaroo or a little, any kind of animal in your hoodie pocket and it would be a little bit like having a kangaroo party. It would. Next time, let's do that. Let's take along an animal. Wear a hoodie. Wear a hoodie. It's too hot to wear a hoodie. Too hot in Cyprus to wear a hoodie. Somebody maybe in Scotland or England could wear a hoodie right now, maybe. But I think, I think the weather's been pretty good there too. Anyway, kangaroo parties would be very fun mm -hmm. to have. It would. <laughs> it's, it's so much fun to think about different things and and think about different animals and um, I don't know, think about different ways to celebrate and things to do. Parties are a lot of fun. Sometimes we have a party and lots of people come and you have to just make sure there's enough food for everybody. Sometimes someone goes to the kitchen and mixes up a little bit more of this or a little bit more of that. It's always best though, isn't it, when people bring bring something to help out and then you share your stuff and everyone has enough. Mm -hmm. Maybe everyone could have a little a little party at home, a little picnic or something. Oh, that would be fun. That would be a lot of fun. And Do you remember the picnic in the Bible? Yeah, there was a really big picnic in the Bible, picnic in the Bible, when uh, Jesus did something special. I think you were going to you're going to talk about that, Chris. Oh, I remember um Jesus had gone out for a walk out of the city and he'd been saying some pretty amazing things. And so a huge crowd of people followed him, including his disciples. And they went out and they were sitting and listening to Jesus. And after a while, they said, the disciples came up to Jesus and said, uh, Master, all of the people are kind of hungry. Is there you got anything to give them to eat? You know what Jesus said? He said, you feed them. And just, can you imagine if uh, if your friends came up to you and said, you know, you, can you just feed this crowd of people, please? And they would have said, uh, that is going to cost a lot of money. I don't have any food. And also, where's the shops right now? We're out in the middle of nowhere. We're out at a picnic park. And so just so happens, the disciples did see a boy there. And the boy had five small loaves of bread and two fish. That was, that was his lunch, wasn't it? That was his lunch. So it wasn't like five big loaves with 17 slices each. It was just small little loaves. And the disciples said, Are you serious, Jesus? This is all we have. He must have done it. He must have gone around and said, Do you got any food? Do you have any food you could share and things? And then this little boy said, You can have my lunch. You can have my lunch and share. And so they took the little boy's lunch to Jesus. And Jesus said, Thank you. He prayed, didn't he? He thanked his father and they, I like to think they might have winked at each other because there was a miracle about to happen and he thanked his father, then he gave the food back to the disciples and he said divide it out amongst the crowd. This is a big crowd. There was like a lot more than 5,000 people because they used to just count the men but there was children and women and all kinds of people there, lots of people to feed. And they divided it out. Sometimes if you have a small pizza or something, you give a piece to everyone in the family and there might be one or two left over. Well, this is like that only. Can you imagine your whole house being full of people and then all the houses on the street being full of people? <laughs> That's how many people got fed. And he had, he had like a pizza and everyone just kept on getting slices and slices of pizza. I don't understand, but all the, there's enough slices of pizza for everybody. That would be amazing. 
they must have been so amazed. The disciples must have been so amazed. And I, I could, I like to kind of imagine in the kitchens of heaven. Can you imagine heaven has kitchens? I don't know if that's true. I imagine they do. And um, I like to think about what God, the Father, and the angels and everybody were doing to make it all work out together. I can imagine watching. Do you ever watch your mom cook or your dad cook? Do you ever sit in the kitchen and watch? That would be fun. I like to watch that kind of thing. Well, this would have been crazy and amazing. I think it was very cool. Oh my goodness, my stomach is starting to grumble and mumble just thinking about it. I bet it was good fish and bread that Jesus multiplied as well. <laughs> my know, stomach you know, is I'm, making I funny noises. I think we need to go to the kitchen in a few minutes yes. to make something. Shall we sing a song first? Let's sing a song first. This song is called 5,000 5, Hungry People, right? Right. In his kitchen and his fridge to feed my friends and my family. I would love to sit at a stool at his breakfast bar and watch just how he does it because I know he has enough supplies that provides for you and me. Did you know he made all the earth and the moon and the planets and the stars all out of nothing? And he made volcanoes and blizzards and thunderstorms and waves out on the sea. He can do things that you wouldn't believe because he's super scientific and he makes all things together just for me and he cares he cares for the little ones and the big ones too and everybody in between and he hears yes he hears us when we call to him he's the world's best good and kind compassionate king jesus had enough with the fish and the bread to feed five thousand hungry people and he had enough in his kitchen and his fridge to Did you know he made all the planets and the moon and the planets and the stars all out of nothing? And he made volcanoes and blizzards and thunderstorms and the waves out on the sea. And he did things he wouldn't believe because he's super scientific. And he makes all things work together just for me. And he cares, yes he cares, he cares for the little ones. And the big ones too and everybody in between. Call to him. He's the world's best good and kind, compassionate king. He's the world's best good and kind, compassionate king. He's the world's best good and kind, compassionate king. Okay, that was awesome. Let's go and see what sort of snack we can make that has to do with the story. Yum, yum, yum. See what it's going to be. Come with me. Oh, hello. Thank you for joining me in the Rosie Kitchen. Now, as you know, we were talking about Jesus feeding the 5,000 plus people. And he fed them with five loaves and two fish. So, we're making something to do with the story. What do you think it is? Do you think it's the loaves or the fish? Well, I don't have any fish right now except in my freezer, and don't think that would be that much fun to try to do something out of two fish. So we're going to make five loaves. Five loaves! Five loaves, very small loaves. This is a recipe called bannock. Bannock came from Scotland originally, and then it traveled to Canada um, with people that were explorers there, and the native people in Canada made it their own as well. So this is bannock that's Canadian and Scottish. So we need a bowl. And into the bowl, we're going to put half a cup of flour. It can be plain flour or it can be bread flour. It doesn't matter. Then we're going to put half a teaspoon of baking powder. There we go. Then we're going to put a little pinch of salt. Make sure you wash your hands before you do it. We're going to put a teaspoon of oil. 
Two. And we're going to do three tablespoons of water. Tablespoons of water. I think that's everything. Get a spoon and stir, 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 stir. That's not very much dough. Now watch this. In a second, it's all going to come together. A big lump. Just keep on stirring until it comes together in a lump. And look at this. The bowl almost clean. All coming together in a lump. In a minute, we're sticking our hands in here. And how many pieces do you think we're going to make? Five pieces. So, five pieces of dough. Look at this. Got a lovely little lump. There we go. One, two, three, four, five. We roll each piece in a little ball. And I've heated up my frying pan here with some oil. And each little ball, I'm going to make it flat like this with my hands. If you want, you can dip it in the flour a little bit. Makes it a little bit easier to work with. Watch this. You put it straight into the oil. That one. Not a lot of oil, but not a very tiny bit either. Put another one in right now. This is just a small frying pan. And your mom can help you because you don't want to hurt yourself or burn yourself. I'm squishing it down a little bit. There you go. Now wait a second. Wait about a minute. And see what happens. And you'll notice it starts to get puffy. And that's because we put baking powder in it. Baking powder makes it go a little puffy. And it makes it nice and fresh and fluffy like bread. Now watch this. This one's been in for a minute, so let's turn it around. Well, let's do it a little bit longer. I have it on a pretty high heat, but I have it nice and thin. In a second, it's going to get nice and brown. Do you know, I think this would be very good with a little bit of jam. Do you think so? Jam would be good, or you could use chocolate spread. Let's see how this is going to look. Oopsie. That's getting a bit golden. That's nice. Now how about this one? One, two, three. Yep. Let's give it a minute longer on this side. And then we're going to take it out and try some to eat. So I'm going to get a little plate from my cupboard. Mm -hmm. There we go. Always be very careful if you're cooking and always have an adult helping you because nobody wants to be getting accidents or burns or anything like that. Let's see how that's coming along. I've only made two right now, but I have five balls in total. Let's see how that's looking. Nearly done. Everybody likes having snacks that are easy to make. And especially right now, it's fun to make things that are new and different because you can't always rush to the, new, the shops to buy new things. And it's fun to have things that are different, to have jam on. You might get sick of sandwiches, so this is different. You can have them in the morning with eggs if you want, or you could have them beside a salad or anything that you like. I think this will be done now. Let's look how it looks on the plate. That's lovely. See, it's getting a little bit brown. I'll take the other one out here. Okay, I only made two right now because I don't have time to make five, but they'd be very nice. And watch this. I'm going to take a little bit of um, a little bit of kitchen towel, and that takes away the oil. There's extra oil in them. Now they're a bit cooler now. You tear one open. Mmm. 
and that's delicious. It's a really nice treat. So, if you want to make something very nice, try making bannock. I'll send you the recipe on, um, on the YouTube video and so you'll see what it is and you can try it at home. And I hope you'll send me pictures as well so that I can see how you've tried to make it at home and see how it works for you. Okay? So let's go back. Let's go back to our piano and sing some more songs and have some fun. Rosie, that was really fun in the kitchen. That bannock, I tried a little taste of that and that was delicious. Thank you very much. I'm sorry I did not make five loaves because there wasn't enough time, but... I could have, you could have done if you had a bigger frying pan. Yes, I could have done. And also, <laughs> but it didn't all that time to flatten them all oh, up. That yeah, takes that, a while that too. Does take a while. So after the show, we're going to sneak into the kitchen, <laughs> Chris Crazy Keys and I, and we'll have some bannock and share it with our family. Nom, nom, nom. I hope you have time to do the same. Well, we could try different things on it. Maybe you could, you can, people could send in their favorite toppings to have on the bannock. I think that would be fun. So remember, it just takes half a cup of flour, a pinch of salt, a half a teaspoon of baking powder, a teaspoon of oil, and three tablespoons of water. That is all. So let's, let's, um, let's make sure that we see if people will make it and also send in pictures. Which makes me think, last week, do you know people sent in pictures did they? of things that they'd done? So we had last week, do you remember we made a special snack? It was oat cakes with peanut mm -hmm. butter and banana and honey and seeds. Mm -hmm. And we had some children who sent in some pictures of that. Nice. So I'm going to show you a picture of that first. There who, we go. Who made that? I think it was the Vogue children. Did they make that? Yeah. Lily and Eli and David and Micah. Ah. And we also talked about things we could be thankful for, didn't we? Yes. So, actually, Lily sent a picture in of her two brothers that she is very thankful for, which was very cool. Um, they look like good boys. Jassar <laughs> sent a picture of a toy that he had drawn. This is a very favorite toy for him, and he is very thankful for it. Isn't that cool? Yeah. That's um, a cool toy. Good picture. Eli oh. and David sent a picture of a lemon, and they have a lemon tree in their garden, and the lemon tree is very good for lemon water. I think they slice it up and put oh. it in the water. We should do that for one, one time. That would be really Yes, fun. and also a little bit of mint is good, too. Mm. Now also have one more picture and this is a picture of a swallow flying isn't that beautiful that was sent in by evie we have a lot of cool people with a lot of talents and a lot of cool things to be thankful for it makes me think i think we should remind ourselves <laughs> to to be thankful <laughs> This song is called Thank You Father, isn't it? Yeah. Love me.
jokes because we love to tell jokes. We uh, love to do silly faces and tell jokes and all sorts of things. So please send in stuff to da, 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 da. Rosie Red Nosy at gmail.com and when you look at our YouTube please like, share and subscribe. Bing bing bing. Do we have a bell? We have a bell. And there's a notification bell just below the video and if you click that bell then it means that you get to hear as soon as we upload the next video. So you'll be one of the first to hear it. And we have a bell to remind you. Here's the bell. Notification bell. Yay! Anyway, we'd love to <laughs> sing with you. We'd love to dance and play and do crafts with you. So let's just sing our song in closing. Here we go. Bye. Bye.